Good morning, Westfield High School. It is officially Friday, September 23rd, 2022. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Mariana Meshi. And I'm Ryan Carlin. Thank you for all, to all Westfield High School students for your respectful observance of yesterday's powerful In Their Shoes exhibit. For any students who would like to reflect on their experience, ask questions, or seek more support, please see Ms. Trottier in room 150. She will be available all day to talk to students. The Yearbook Club will be having a meeting on Thursday at 3 p.m. in room 131 for all members. New members are welcome and there will be snacks. Today is Club Day, WHS. During all lunch periods, 4 through 8, go outside to the Dr. Nelson Courtyard and view all of the clubs that WHS has to offer. Are you looking to give back to the community? During your lunch period or free period today, stop by the Cans for a Cause table to learn about the club. Want to attend the student-teacher volleyball game in the gym? Then buy a pink-out wristband from the SGA. Your homeroom teacher has the form to purchase one. The SGA encourages all of you to buy a wristband as the top three homerooms with the most sales will be invited to watch the student-teacher volleyball game in the gym. All proceeds will go directly to Pathways, an organization that provides free support, education, and overall wellness to women with cancer. Donations also go to your class total. Make sure to wear pink next Friday to support the pink app. The class of 2026 is looking to form a class council. Students on class council will help lead the freshman class and serve as a voice for your peers. Council responsibilities include planning freshman specific events and fundraisers as well as helping to promote school spirit. They will meet once a week during homeroom and occasionally meet after school for events. If you are interested in joining the class council, please fill out the Google form on the Google Classroom page no later than Friday, September 30th. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Wright at eWright at westfieldnjk12.org. Interested in joining the Mental Health Awareness Club? Stop by room 150 for more information or reach out to Ms. Trottier or Annika Fasuna. Attention all transition leaders and freshmen, outreaches are today. They will be introducing the program and discussing questions you may have about WHS. Freshmen, please join your respective classroom pages and bring your Chromebooks to the outreach. Leaders, be ready. We now go to sports with Michael Cerrotti. Mike? Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerrotti, and here's your BDTV sports update. Yesterday, the boys' soccer team suffered a close 1-0 loss, despite many great chances late in the second half. The girls' soccer team beat Governor Livingston 2-1, behind goals from Bridget Morrison and Marissa O'Connell. The team is 6-0-1 and ranked number one in New Jersey and number two in the country. The girls' volleyball team beat Scotch Plains to improve to 7-0 on the season. Today, the 3-0 gymnastics team hosts Ridge at 4.30. And tomorrow, the football team takes on rival Scotch Plains at 1 o'clock at Keller. And on Tuesday, the field hockey team has an away game against Cranford. Finally, congratulations to senior tennis player Annika Vasuna on being named All-State Athlete of the Week. Now, as the week comes to a close, let's take a look at the top two plays of the week. At number two, in a game against West Orange, freshman Callie Schmidt sends a rocket off the crossbar and into the back of the net to put the girls' soccer team up 1-0, which was the final score of this top 15 matchup. At number one, the football team was pouring the points on Elizabeth, scoring 38 in the first half. This 95-yard kick return from junior Peter Del Rey was one of those scores, as he evaded tacklers and used his speed to reach the end zone in a 38-20 win. That's all for today's sports report, and after the long weekend, there will be an additional sports host. Now back to you, Ryan and Ariana. Thank you, Michael. Ryan, it's your last day here. Yeah, all good things must come to an end, but on Wednesday, somebody will take your seat and you will move over to mine. Uh, if you would like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV, and happy Rosh Hashanah to those who are celebrating. Go Blue Devils!